They are all creational. Sorry, I couldn't catch up. Can you repeat? Is it a question or is it the answer? Yes, I am asking a question uh, from you. Uh, can you give us some information about the term culture, culture okay. and uh, okay. The... okay. So okay. let others also ask the question. What do you know about the term culture? Groups uh, six group students. Number six. Nigina, is it you? Okay. It's me, I'm Mukadas. Mukadas, Rahmunova. Yes, Rahmunova. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, every country has their own culture. Uh, in my opinion, culture is the thing like uh, it's the root uh, that is um, uh, from the culture we can learn in other countries like uh, traditions, holidays, their lifestyles, and what else? Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Right, you are. So the second, the second question to you: What other components of culture do you know? What components uh, can be as a components of culture? What can we say according to which criteria we can say that this is culture and it belongs to culture? In my opinion, according to their like dresses according to their language their holidays like their lifestyle that i mentioned before right yeah we can like okay. the others mm -hmm. thank you and the third one do you agree that language is a part of culture as you have mentioned um Mukadas, yes you have uh, spoken about the components and you included here the language also i agree Okay, you agree that language is a part of culture. Thank you. Later we will check your answers. And what do you know about body language? Uh, body language. Uh, when we uh, speak any uh, language, uh, we use our arms and your our maybe uh, our head and uh, to um, to understand the another our uh, partner uh, to understand our uh, sentence. Right, yeah, thank you. Body language is when we communicate with people and we use in order to express our ideas, in order to express our opinions, parts of body. And this is body language. So thank you. Now let's check one by one your answers quickly. The first question. Uh, I have asked you the meaning of the term culture and you have uh, answered, you are right, but I want to add here one thing also that don't forget when we speak about the term culture, it, it, it expresses two meanings. The first one is which uh, express non-material uh, culture with uh, which are untouchable. It means that we cannot just touch or we cannot just see, but just we believe, uh, we accept them how they exist in the customs, in the uh, society. The first one is culture is the most important concept in the social sciences. It includes the values, as you have mentioned, beliefs, behaviors and material objects that together form a people's way of life. You have included here clothing also. Yes, Mukadas, is uh, how they dress, how they, uh, how, how they uh, obey the rules of uh, dressing. This is also one part of, uh, we can say that one uh, component of culture. And uh, from yes. the meaning of the term, we can divide the term culture into two, which is non-material. The second one is material. Do you, uh, do you can you um, give some examples for non-material culture? Which are untouchable, but just we obey as the rules, as beliefs, as the religion. Can you give from our uh, society as uh, what can be called as non-material culture? Can I answer? Rahman Mukadas. Yes, you are welcome. Uh, for example, um, when we go to another country, for example, to the Korea or to the Japan, uh, as a greeting, they just bow their uh, head 
uh, it means that uh, they are like greeting with you. But uh, when we like greet uh, another people, we just uh, hug or like um, shake with hands like this. And in my opinion, like uh, the ways of greeting also can be the example of non-cultural components? Non-material culture. Non-material, non yes. yes non right, yeah. Because uh, it passed from the generation to the next generation is uh, how they exist in the society, yes? We can say that yes. this is one uh, example for non-material culture. Thank you. What about other students? Can you give some examples for material culture? Uh, material culture, they are those objects which we can touch or those things which uh, are, uh, which exist in the culture as touchable. The tangible objects created by members of a society include the items and society finds of value. Can you give examples for material culture? Maybe constitution, I think, if, if, you, if, I, if it is true. Because uh, constitution, yeah, maybe uh, I because I think uh, very uh, many rules it it righted. Uh -huh. Can we say not only constitution, written rules? Can we say so? Written rules. Written rules. Uh huh. Are examples written for material rules. culture. Because in uh, yes. everything can, included here, not only constitution. Uh, all of them uh, write it because written. they have write it. Because we can see, written. we can read them. Yes, you want to yes. say? We can read, we can understand, uh, we can show them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what do you think? Oh. Uh, if you look around yourself, the environment, you can see a lot of examples for material culture. Uh, examples, uh, items, what can be they? Especially our holy historical ancient Bukhara is full of material culture examples, you can say. What are they? Yeah, ancient. They are created by members of a society. What can be? They? Can I Here. answer? Malika, please, Ali Khawa. Uh, our monuments uh, um, and uh, Buildings can be uh, as an example of material culture. Right, yeah, thank you. Which uh, exists in our society as the great, greatest part of our material culture. Yes, they are historical sightseeing, monuments, holy places, which we can call seven saints, uh, holy uh, places. They are also. Uh, examples for material culture, right? Yeah, thank you. Do you have any questions about can, uh, what is the term? Well, we Sorry, can say about speaking? the food. I'm no, Nikina. Uh -huh. well, we can say about food and dress also can be related to the material culture. Right, yeah, thank you. Everything which uh, can be touchable, which are tangible, and if they are objects, and if they are precious, if they are valuable for the members of society, we can say that they are parts of uh, culture, material culture, right? Yeah, thank you. Do you have any questions about what is the term culture and what are the types of material and material culture? Is it understandable? Uh, I have a question. Please, Kasimva. Uh, uh, can we say that a language is related to Non-material or material culture? Material, this is material because we learn it. We, uh, every detail of the language can be taught, can be learned by the members of uh, society. That's why this is material. Thank you. Culture. Yeah, welcome. Now, any questions, students? Can you continue no. with the second answer no. for the second question? You may continue. Yes, yes. Okay, Irkin. Now, I asked about the components of culture. Pay attention. Don't forget, students, you have mentioned about some parts of these components. They are, culture is comprised of five different components, which are symbols, 
language, uh -huh. values, language. belief, yeah. norms. Now with uh, company, because our subject is intercultural communication, that's why during our classes we uh, we have to compare more than two cultures, more than two um, components of culture. Mm -hmm. Let's continue with ours and with English because uh, we are learning the English language. That's why the first symbol in our culture, what can be included here as a symbol of our culture, according to which symbol uh, we can say that this is Uzbek culture. Alphabet. Ah, okay. Irkin, are you going to answer? Is it answerable, the question? Yeah. We, when we use a uh, foreign language, uh, we at the first we start the alphabet, maybe symbols. Which symbol? If we think about alphabet the first or alphabet the second, which symbol can you imagine? A, B, maybe. For example, they are black. Okay, they're fine because uh, it uh, demonstrates what? Yeah, free uh, in answering, please. Mm -hmm. Feel free while answering. Holosphone, mm -hmm. ice cream. Okay, let's uh, start yeah. from our uh, culture symbols. The first symbol, if we take uh, from our national symbols, the first symbol which we can take emblem, yeah. our national emblem. There is a bird, Humo. Yes. Okay, right. yeah. symbol for what? For our culture, for our uh, communication. Yeah. Sorry, sorry for my phone. Are you answering or just are you chatting with someone? Holosphone. Switch off her microphone if she is not answering. Thank you. Okay, Holosphone. Are you, are you going to answer the question or are you teaching your students, your learners, I mean school children? So let's continue. Let's continue. Language, symbols, uh, symbol for more, it express for our culture, happiness, yes? Peace. Yes. And what about uh, English from which symbol you can say that, for example, red rose for the English people, what does it express? National emblems. Uh, Freedom, English. firstly, yes, yeah? because in the history, you know that there was a battle between red roses and uh, uh, white roses, and uh, the winner was the uh, participants of the red roses. This is the symbol for this uh, communication, this culture as a freedom. So let's take language. As Erkin, you have, uh, you have answered that uh, you agree that uh, you can say that language is a part of culture, right? Yeah. Values, beliefs, and norms. Norms, so why uh, we can say that norms are the components of culture? Because as uh, you have mentioned constitution, you uh, mentioned about constitution, Yes. You can say that all are they are norms which are written or which are unwritten, but they are rules, they are norms of the culture of yes. the society. Mm -hmm. That's why we include as a main component of culture norms, also understandable. Yes, but, uh, but people, don't forget nowadays uh, we are living in globalization period. That's why we can say that as an example uh, for material culture, technology also. Do you agree? Yes, yes, yes. Why not? Because uh, especially for uh, the COVID-19, we every day 